Generally speaking, people's perception of national heroes and celebrated patriots is courageous soldiers who selflessly risk their lives in combat. The soldiers whose intention is to defend their home country against enemies and keep the people of their motherland safe. In doing so, they fight against all the odds to ensure their fellow men and women live in a safer world by fighting against what they perceive as enemy of the nation. These descriptions apply to dedicated soldiers, but most of them, are equally applicable to describe Dr. Anthony Fauci who worked effortlessly to save fellow Americans and by extension, the entire world. Dr. Fauci was born in December 24, 1940 in an educated family who ran a pharmacy in Brooklyn, New York. His father was the main pharmacists, his mother and sister ran the register and himself delivered the prescriptions. His grandparents came to the U.S. from Sicily, Italy, in the late 19th century, and started a new life in the land of their dreams. Being a smart student, Fauci was fast in getting his bachelor's and doctorate degree in medicine in 1966 from the Cornell University. He started his career at National Institute of Health as a clinical associate in 1968 and 12 years later, he became the head of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. In this position as a clinical scientist, he has been the key figure leading the U.S. efforts to combat viral diseases such as HIV-AIDS, SARS, swine flu, MERS, Ebola and COVID-19. Dr. Fauci's publications are among the most cited scientific papers in the world. From 1983 to 2002, he was the 13th cited scientist amongst the 3 million authors as all disciplines through the scientific community. He has faced three major crises throughout his career. His campaign against HIV-AIDS epidemic in the early 1980s, where he began looking for treatment or vaccine against the novel virus. Given his position in the government though, his efforts as chief scientists have been consistently stymied by ignorance of the general public from both sides of the political spectrum. In October 1988, angry LGBTQ community gathered around NIAID building, and expressed frustration at Fauci as the director, claiming that he and his team had not done enough for LGBTQ patients when it comes to prevention and the treatment. Fauci was called incompetent idiot in the media and was shunned by those who thought a quick and easy solution should have been found to cure HIV. Instead, Dr. Fauci and his team, reached out to the gay community in New York and San Francisco, to find ways he can help find solutions to this deadly and novel virus even though he had no control over the drug distribution. During Ebola epidemic, Fauci and his team was in charge of US-led efforts to implement containment policies in the US and in Africa, but perhaps he became the mainstream household name during coronavirus outbreak in 2020. In March 2020 he correctly predicted that fatality rate would be far higher than 0.1% that typically occur during flu season. He then, convinced the federal government to extend self-isolation policies from 15 days to the end of April 2020, in an effort to contain the infection rate, and to buy time for healthcare system to house new patients. Because of his consistent efforts to continue shutdowns and self-isolations, advocating for wearing masks and social distancing and raising public awareness in media to express concerns about premature openings, he was again met with ignorance but this time from far-right politicians and pundits, and angry right-wing mobs. The depth of ignorance was so high that a few in the crowds held signs asking for Dr. Fauci to be hanged, despite all of his dedication and lifelong fight to save the same people who then hated him. Perhaps, in the depth of his despair and frustration, he was reminded of 16th century fellow scientist Galileo, who was shunned by the ruling class as well as by the ignorant society who wanted him dead simply because his scientific discoveries was not in line with their political or personal interests. Yet he held his beliefs till the day he died, as he knew he was doing the humanity a service by illuminating the dark minds even if they don't like it, it is what they need to survive and thrive.